Hello fellow YouTubers, LEGO EWC Stop Motion here. Welcome to viewers new and old. And today I'm finally doing my first collection update in the house I moved into in December. I've been really looking forward to doing this and I felt it was finally time. So we'll start off. This is my bedroom slash kind of studio office, I guess. I don't, I don't really do my editing on this laptop anymore because I was having storage issues, but I do have another computer, computer I do the editing on. This is, I mostly just play games on this laptop now. So yeah, of course, here's the desk. Desk has remained the same. And I'm sorry about the glare on the screen, but I can't use Game Capture for Files Explorer, so yeah, that's nice. But I just thought I would show you my game collection. So I got a bunch of Bionicle games. I've got Massive Power, fan-made game, Bionicle Colgate, that's such a weird name. Command the Toa Mari, some versions of the Bionicle rebuilt game from 2001. Got both Man New Online games. I have Matoran Escape and Stop the Morbazak. I haven't really played a lot of those games. Mainly just Man New Online game because that, that game's just amazing. And then some Sonic fan games. I got Project 06. Of course, I did a playthrough of this back in April when it first came out. Got a couple versions of Sonic World and Sonic Triple Trouble 16 bit. Then here I got some Steam games. I have Sonic Adventure 2, Sonic Adventure 1, got Sonic Frontiers, Sonic Generations, and Sonic Mania. And then for this laptop, I also have Sims and Sims 4 and Lego Star Wars 2, the original trilogy. Those of you who've been following me for a while, since like back in late 2020, I actually did a playthrough for that game. So yeah, that's cool. Okay, now I'll get my desk cleared off a little so I can show you my figures I have on here. It My main theme I wanted to go for here was video game characters. It does branch away from that a little bit, but that's the theme I've tried to keep it to. So of course here I got the Sonic controller holder. As well as some glasses. I don't I didn't just suddenly need glasses. My eyes are totally fine. That's just to protect my eyes from getting irritated by looking at screens for too long because well I like looking at screens. And here we have the Lego Idea Sonic set on Jazzwares 3 inch modern Sonic and the Jack Specific 2.5 inch classic Sonic. I have little Mega Box versions of Spyro and Cinder as well as a little clay dragon that my mom made for them. Then I got the 2010 War for Cybertron Bumblebee. I'd get the other Gamer Edition Studio Series figures, and I'm, I'm planning to someday. I really wanted Optimus, but my GameStop just happened to be the only one in the universe that just never got him. I did see Barricade one time, who I do plan to get eventually. I've heard he's not really a great figure, but, well, I, I want I want Barricade because they never made him in the original line. I'm still not sure if I want to get the Gamer Edition Bumblebee because I'm pretty happy with this one, but we'll see. Of course, here we have Master Chief and Arbiter and the Warthog, iconic vehicle with two of my favorite video game characters ever. Come down here, we have uh, an extra Super Shot Stealth Elf from Skylander Superchargers. I just, I had two. One came with the 360 version, another one came with the 3DS version, so just decided to put one on my desk. I got Diddy Kong and Rob, Chibi Robo. I have the Poochie and Yoshi from Poochie and Yoshi's Woolly World. And here's the Amiibo Reader. Here's a uh, like a Minecraft set from back in 2012, I think was when this specific one came out. Then there's the May 4th R2-D2 from 2017. Then I got a couple stunts, guys. I actually got this one right here just because I wanted the, mainly because I wanted the shoulder armor for the armor in the Mandalorian set. And thankfully that was an extra piece, so I still keep it on him. And I just had to get the bathtub guy just because it's hilarious. Then down here, just got some basic supplies, a pencil sharpener. Here's Breakaway that I've been keeping sealed in the box since I got him last year. And I'm thinking I might open him soon. Maybe I'll do that like on the one year anniversary or when I got him or something. Let's see, I got the Red Gladiator box. Just haven't gotten rid of that yet. 
the same for a scrap hook. This is really just because I haven't reviewed the figure yet. And here's Minerva's box. I just haven't gotten rid of it either. Scorponok, haven't gotten him out. There's the upgrade kit box. I just haven't gotten, found a place to put that either. Then here's a light that I need to use. I need to start using this. I got this back in February. I gotta, I gotta use it more. Then the box is for the Fallen and Studio Series Hot Rod. Again, just to remind me that I still need to review them. Oh yeah, then the big Sonic poster thing. I think it looks cool. And here I got this. This is a little mis miscellaneous. It's got a couple drawings I've done over the years. And then a just random Lego catalog that seems to be friends. It's not all friends. It's, I think it's just for Lego Life. I haven't checked Lego Life in like forever. Is that even is it even still a thing? I don't know. I haven't been keeping up to date with it. And obviously here we had the Lego Optimus. I do know where his rifle is. It's just buried in a bin. I haven't gotten it out yet. I will one day though. We got some of these little collectible transformers. I don't know if any of you remember back in 2014. It was part of the Thrilling 30 line. They were just little blind bag figures. They were kind of neat, I guess. We have an Eraser R2-D2 as well as a Flashlight R2-D2. Then we have a Gilgrunt stylus, like pencil topper type thing. Here's some random things. Got a Calvin and Hobbes book. Um, this series may not be as well known as like Peanuts or Garfield, but out of like all the comedy comic series I've read, the, I just, I love these. These are, these are like my favorites. They're hilarious. Star Wars book, a Sonic comic. See, I've got this. This is actually a library book. I gotta return that one. I, I read it like the day I got it, I think. Pretty sure. And I got some more Lego droids, Rubik's Cube, and then a couple different things. A lot of Lego books on this cabinet in general. Just get that out of the way. There's a lot. Some Transformers books, some Skylanders comics and books. Swings of Fire books. The Calvin and Hobbes collection on the right there. And some more Lego books. And these just have tiny turbo changers in them. I don't really have anywhere else I want to put those, so I just keep them in these. Bunch of Lego books down here. The Creo Character Encyclopedia. We have some Skylanders guidebooks. Never got the one for Spyro's Adventure. I'm almost tempted to get it just so I can have a mostly complete collection. And they never made one for Imaginators, so yay. I, I understand why. It's just frustrating because it would be an incomplete collection. Come to the cork board. Have my pretty rare Sonic plush. This is based on the Sonic X design made by Great Eastern Entertainment. I got this thing back in 2008. And I just dug it out recently, and it, it's cool. It's always cool when you find out something you've had since you were a kid was, like, really rare. Or is now. It wasn't, must not have been too rare back then, but, yeah, that's cool. Some more random Transformers stuff. And then a Sonic calendar. I'm just coming down here. I have a little Knuckles backpack hanger. And that pretty much does it for my office studio, game, bedroom, whatever you want to call this. Yeah, I'm happy with it. All right, so first off, here's a Transformers hat from Universal Studios. And here is the main collection room. So we'll start off. I have a TV now, my own TV with all of my consoles hooked up to it. So I've got an Xbox 360, have a a connect it was like the Wii reader thing which I lost the stand for it I don't know where it went it happened in the move so I just built a little Lego one and then there's my Wii and then the Xbox one and one of these days I'm planning to get a Nintendo switch I never got a Wii U and I don't regret that but I do need to get a switch someday it takes a lot for me to finally give in to getting the newest console. Of course, the Switch has been out for six years now, but yeah, I'll get one one of these days. This little Roku thing that I pretty much never use because I just use this TV for gaming. 
then this will come into play later. Stick it in my pocket so I don't forget. Got another Wii controller and my 360 controller. And first off, here's a couple Wii games. Anyone who owns a Wii most likely has this. Wii Sports. I gotta play that game again someday. And here's Link's Crossbow Training. This just has some random 3DS stuff in it. And here's my 3DS collection. So I have all five of the Skylanders games they made for the 3DS, but they didn't make Imaginators for it. So yay, once again, another collection that I'll just never be able to complete. I understand why they didn't do Imaginators for the 3DS, but it's just such a bummer. I feel like they could have worked something out. Ugh, it just really bothers me. I got Angry Birds Trilogy, Scribble Knots Unlimited, Chibi Robo Ziplash, Super Mario 3D Land, Luigi's Mansion Dark Moon, Mario Tennis Open, Poochie and Yoshi's Woolly World. I love that game. Donkey Kong Country Returns 3D, Transformers Prime the Game, Ninjago Ninjoids, Shadow of Ronin, Lego Star Wars The Force Awakens, The Lego Movie Video Game, Lego Star Wars 3 The Clone Wars, Chima, Laval's Journey, Lord of the Rings, Pirates of the Caribbean. And just give me a second to get all these in the front out of the way. And there's the 3DS box that has other things in it. Then AMF Bowling Pinbusters, Core DS10 Synthesizer, WarioWare. I haven't even played these games. I just ended up getting them. I haven't, I haven't touched them. Sims 2 Apartment Pets, which is actually more so my mom's game. I haven't really played it, but it's just in here. Harry Potter Years 5 through 7, Lego Battles Ninjago, the thing that drove me to get a 3DS because I just really wanted a Ninjago video game. Here's Steel Diver, Pilot Wings Resort, Takas Sports Extreme, Frogger 3D, Animal Crossing, again, technically my mom's game, Utopia, Sonic Generations, Wrecker Ralph, Tenkai Knight's Brave Battle, and here's this that's full of games that don't have the cases. Just had to get this open. There we have Transformers Autobots, one of my favorite Transformers games. I, I love that game. I just think it's a crime that the ability to scan as many alt modes as you want isn't a thing that's like a staple of Transformers games. That's just a bummer. But yeah, definitely one of the best Transformers games. Got Transformers Revenge Fallen Autobots, Dark of the Moon Autobots, one of the worst Transformers games. In fact, out of all the Transformers games I have, this is probably the worst. The controls, I just, I thought the controls were awful. We got Animated the Game, we have Boulder Dash XL 3D, an extra card for my 3DS, and plus, LEGO City Undercover, The Chase Begins, Digimon World Championship, another card, Centipede Infestation, Pinball Hall of Fame, Mario Kart 7, Roller Coaster, is it? Tycoon 3D, My Sims Agents, Brain Age, here we got Sonic Rush, Sonic Rush Adventure, Sonic Boom Shattered Crystal, and Mario and Sonic at the London 2012 Olympic Games. One of these days I need to try Sonic Boom Fire and Ice. I heard that game's semi-decent. All right, then before we get on to the rest, just come here for a second, we got my 3DS, and in it I have Super Smash Bros for the 3DS. Then before I forget to mention, I also have Transformers Rise of the Dark Spark on my 3DS, probably the only version of the game that I'll ever own. So yeah, that's my 3DS collection. Okay, now we get on to my Wii and Xbox games. So I just wanna preface, some of the games in this are technically my dad's, like I, I can play them, just they're not really games that interest me too much, like just some sports games. So for Xbox One, I got Lego Worlds, Lego City Undercover, the Ninjago Movie Video Game, Lego Marvel Super Heroes 2, The Incredibles, Lego DC Super Villains, the Lego Movie 2 Video Game, there's the Skywalker Saga. Let's see. National Geographic Challenge, it's a Kinect game. And there's Kinect Sports, Iron Man 2, My Sims Racing, My Sims Kingdom, 
Kid Adventure, Sky Captain, Carnival Mini Golf. Of course, the classic Lego Star Wars, the complete saga. Can't beat that. Well, I mean, there, there are Lego games I like better than this one. DC Super Villains is probably my favorite. It's a, just a great game. Lego Star Wars 3, The Clone Wars, both Indiana Jones games, all three Lego Batman games, Harry Potter Years 1 through 4, Bionicle Heroes, Lego Marvel Super Heroes, the Lego Movie Video Game, The Hobbit, an Incomplete Game, they never released Battle of the Five Armies, Jurassic World, Dimensions. I'm really bummed about Dimensions. I know people were getting annoyed having to buy all the stuff for it, but I don't really care. I'd gladly still be buying the characters they made they made for this. It was a great way to get some rare minifigures. There were just so many possibilities. They could have done the Flash and some more Sonic characters and more DC characters. It's just a shame. Dimensions is a tragedy. Let's see. There's... Back in there, probably can't see it very well, but I got Thrillville off the rails. That's a pretty fun game. Marvel Ultimate Alliance, Mario Kart Wii, Puss in Boots for the Kinect, Sonic and the Secret Rings, Sega Superstars Tennis, along with uh, some Xbox Arcade games, Sonic Colors, Wally, -E, Mini Ninja, that's just what I'm calling it, that's the proper plural version, Transformers the Game, Revenge of the Fallen for the Wii, then Revenge of the Fallen for the 360, got Dark of the Moon Stealth Force Edition. I need to get the 360 version of Dark of the Moon someday, since it's developed by High Moon Studios. Of course, I mean, these two games, which I love, definitely my favorite Transformers games. Here's Minecraft Xbox 360 Edition. I have not played this game in a while, ever since I got the PC version. I don't really play Minecraft that much anymore anyway, but yeah, I haven't touched this one really since, I don't know, 2019 maybe. And I have all six of the Skylanders games. There's one collection that's complete at least. Let's see. Line Rider 2 Inbound, I think is what it's called. Blastworks, Space Camp, Dakar Sports 3, Connect Adventures, Connect Star Wars, Star Wars The Clone Wars Lightsaber Duels, Republic Heroes, I've been seeing a lot of hate for this game recently. I gotta play it. See if it's... If I agree with people. As someone who liked that game as a kid when I was too young to realize what good game design is. And there's Jedi Fallen Order. Some football games. Again, not really mine. Some Forza games. Also not technically mine. I have enjoyed playing them a couple times, though. Halo Wars. Halo Reach. This version of the game just kind of quit working. I was playing it on my Xbox One and just one day it just kind of stopped running it. So yeah, I ended up just downloading it for the Master Chief Collection. But I still got the case. There's Halo 5 Guardians, Halo Wars 2, Halo Infinite, Destiny, Starlink, Crash Bandicoot Insane Trilogy, and let me get a light on. Spyro Reignited Trilogy. So that's most of my game collection, except I have a couple games installed on here and on there. So I'm going to show you that. Okay, so on my 360, I have The Legend of Spyro, Dawn of the Dragon. And then I also have Lego Marvel's Avengers. Yeah, those are the games I have installed there. Then installed on the Xbox One, I have Crash Bandicoot 4, It's About Time. I have Forza Horizon 3, I have Halo the Master Chief Collection, Rocket League, which I really need to play more of, and then Sonic Origins. So that is pretty much my game collection. Then right here, I took my Skylander stickers and put them in this frame here. It's a Superman clock. There's some more Skylanders up there. And some more up there. So I don't have them spread around the room like I did previously, but I like how this looks. All right, next I'm gonna show you something I never really showed you before. My closet. I never showed the inside of the closet in my old house. Okay, so I think what I'll do, I'll go like along the top shelf here and just kind of work our way down. 
So first off, we have some containers that have transformers, backdrops, and instructions. The box for Lego Optimus. Then this, I have some Prime accessories in it. And right here, I have an extra Xbox One controller, Wii box, some other random things. Here's Lego Architecture Studio. It's like a, just a bunch of white pieces. Here's my X-Wing box. I need to rebuild this set someday. Let's see some random Lego stuff. More random Lego stuff. And this has stuff like Bionicle, Hero Factory, and Knight's Kingdom, that sort of thing. Then here's the packaging for the SDCC Rust in Peace Cliff Jumper. Really cool packaging. Here's some random car things, as in like just generic cars and some things from Pixar cars. Then here's Starlink Battle for Atlas. Just I have all the pilots and ships in here. I barely played that game. Maybe I'll play it more one again one day though. So here's a Mindstorm ZB3. It solves Rubik's Cubes. And here's my Skylanders mini collection, which is pretty much complete, excluding Gnarly Barkley. I never got him. I saw him one time at Toys R Us, and I just, I never got him, and I kind of regret that. Because otherwise, I pretty much have all of them. Except I don't have, like, red-based certain ones and orange-based ones. Like, the sidekicks work the same as minis, so, like, I never saw the any incentive to get the Trap Team version of Thumpling. I don't think I ever even saw him, so... Here's my Dimensions collection, which, well, I definitely don't have a complete collection. This could really be a collection video on its own, so we're just going to go on by. Some random things up there. This, I don't know 100% sure what's in this. Might be like some old Mega Block stuff, like really big ones. I think that's what's in here. And this has some random stuff, and then here's an animator thing. Here's some Sonic like accessories and the cards and then some random figures that I just don't have out on display. Then this has Sick Bricks in it. Anyone remember Sick Bricks? Yeah, that was a thing. Here's a Screaming Banshee. Some cars things. I obviously don't really play with the cars stuff too much anymore. I just haven't gotten rid of it. Then here's just a bin of random things. Here's an... All right, that just happened. I was not paying much attention. Here's like an Angry Birds Star Wars playset. Here's a kind of Viking pirate night ship from Mega Bloks. Here's Zibbits. Anyone remember Zibbits? They were like little remote control robots. They were pretty fun. And here's like a bug world. Ugh. I think it's a little painful after a while to hold it up. And here's my Lego board game collection. I have pretty much all the Heroica games. I have Drayda Bay, Waldirk Forest, Cameras of Nafus, Castle Fortan, and Ilrion. Here's the Hobbit game, Race 3000, Lava Dragon, and Creationary. There's a couple that I do kind of wish I got in, like the Ninjago game and like some of the pyramid ones. There were some other fun looking ones I just never got around to getting. Here's just a little toothless, some random things in there. This has some Lego minifigures collections, the complete Looney Tunes collection and the complete Marvel collection. There's some random Lego Marvel customs in there. Here's some Angry Birds play sets, Robo Rally, this thing that has stuff in it. Some Skylanders magic items. Tenkai Knights. I don't know if anyone remembers Tenkai Knights. It was short-lived, but it was pretty fun. Then Transformers Construct Bots. I wouldn't blame if you didn't remember that. Pretty forgettable. Here's Ninjago Movie minifigures. Then we have a couple random bins that has like some punch-out cardboard minion things. In fact, I think this is just my whole minion collection. Not really into minions anymore, but at one point I, I liked it a lot more. Then this bin has Nexonites. I didn't get a ton of Nexonite sets, so 
it all fits pretty much just in this bin. Then here's some Hero Factory canisters. And this thing. Then this has like some robotics things in it, a couple wowies. Let's see, this has some instructions for looks like pretty much like a Marvel set. That's the main thing. Some more like some Lego Transformers I made based on a, like some other customs I saw and then some and they're, they're all scrapped now pretty much and then some more Lego instructions and here's the Lego Batman movie Batmobile all with a Halo set and down here this is pretty much just all Halo as far as I know yeah and then I have RS Media I've actually been trying to get this guy sold because he goes for a fair bit and I don't really use him that much. So I've been trying to get him sold, but no luck yet. Then this, it's a Skylander Swap Force bag, but it actually has my Superchargers collection in it because I don't, it's not as big of a collection. I don't have every single one they made for that game, but yeah, it, it all fit in here. And then right here, here's the Ghostbusters Ecto-1 packaging. Here's R2-S4M, some droids from The Mandalorian, and some Halloween-themed droids. There's my Fighter Pods collection, some Angry Birds Star Wars stuff, R2-D2 and C-3PO bobbleheads, and then a couple more droid Funko Pops. I have BB-9E, and back there I have BB-8 and R2-B1. Then here's some mostly Skyland Skylander portals, then the Dimensions toy pad, just a couple more Skylanders. This is pretty much all extra levels, along with a couple Skylanders. The Bouncer was just an extra one. I, he just had a slightly darker shade of bronze, so I decided to keep him, even if I already have another one. Then there's a couple broken ones in here, which is a bummer. Then here's Jala and the Gecko Bird. This is just the box. I keep the ins instructions for pretty much all my Bionicle in here, except for ones I have in canisters. So uh, another box of Lego instructions, a couple more, a folder and a container full of Lego instructions. Here's Planet Tatooine, just a little Star Wars play set. Cars wheel, I, I question if I really need to hold on to my car stuff anymore. I don't really do anything with it. I just haven't, didn't part with it yet. Here's a space shuttle. Here's a classic. Then here's... This has some random Star Wars stuff, action figures, and galactic heroes. Fun stuff. Right here, this is pretty much all Creo. There's a couple Mega Constructs sets in here as far as I know, but I think the main thing in here is Creo. And a bin full of more Lego stuff. This is the bin that has Optimus's rifle. I need to dig in here one day. And here we have the... Lego Ninjago Dojo set from 2022. I took it apart in the move and it. I need to rebuild it. I have pretty much all the pieces. There was like one little flat stud I had to replace. I probably have the missing one. I just couldn't find it. So yeah, then here's the instructions. Some more backdrops. A bin full of Lego. A bin full of Lego. And let's see, this has all my traps from trap team and this has this is all imaginators in here again i don't have as much from it so that it pretty much just all fit in here then here's all the skylanders i have from the first four games again aside from the ones i put in another container because they were broken yeah and another bin full of lego and this has my old Thomas stuff in it. I just have not been able to bring myself to part with it. It was just, it was a very short period of my life, but to say I was obsessed with Thomas for that point in my life would be an understatement. I just, I loved it so much. So I just haven't been able to bring myself to part with it. I'm sentimental. I'll admit it. Then here's the Insects Collide 4-pack. I already got Goldbug out. Just haven't taken the other three out of the box yet. Here's a... Dots 
set. It's a sign. I just was thinking I can hang this up in my room. Just put something, write something on it. Then the heat wave transforming lava dragon. Haven't built that yet. Sora is transforming mech bike. Hopefully that'll that'll get built soon. That's why it's not here. But hopefully I'll get it built soon. And we here here we have the Indiana Jones Escape from the Lost Tomb. I got this set. I'm a pretty casual Indiana Jones fan, but I wanted to get this one because it just looks like a lot of fun. And there's a Bionicle reference in it. Now did you I do also want to get the Boulder Chase set because I was just the original was a set I wanted so bad when I was a kid, so I, I gotta get that new one for sure. Then the third set I'm not really interested in. Here you have Benny's spaceship. This has some Lego sets in it. There's actually an Ninjago set in here. I also need to get rebuilt. A bin full of Lego, mostly. And you guessed it, a bin full of Lego. Then here's my voice command R2D2, remote control BB8, amplifier for my bass guitar. Yeah, I actually play bass guitar and piano. I, I have not played bass guitar in a good while, though. I, I need to play it some more. So, that is my closet. Now we can get on to the main part of the collection. So, for my Lego collection, up here I've got some Marvel sets, the Sanctum Sanctorum, the Corvus Glaives, Thresher Attack. Then, here I got the Iron Man Hall of Armor, which is... Has all my Iron Man armors. I don't have every Iron Man minifigure, but pretty much have all the ones on their display that, that I want anyway. Then there's the Hulkbuster, Quinjet. And here's two Avengers compound sets. Just put them together to kind of form a bigger one. And I have a good chunk of the characters. Got my some versions of Iron Man, Captain America, Thor, Rocket. Valkyrie, Hulk, Korg. Let's see, where's Meek? Didn't I add him to this? Oh, there is. He fell over. I'll, I'll get him set up later. Nebula, Rescue, Ant Man, Spider Man, War Machine, Black Widow, Hawkeye, Black Panther, Scarlet Witch, Captain Marvel. There's a Koye with the Rhino. And this is my Thanos shelf. Got a couple versions of Thanos. There's the Infinity Gauntlet. Some Outriders, the Chitari, the Black Order. Here's my Guardian shelf along with Bro Thor's new Asgard. Have most of the Guardians. I just haven't been able to get Drax and Mantis yet. I gotta get them somehow. Then this, this shelf is just kind of random right now, but there will be probably some extra Ninjago sets on here. That's what I'm planning for it at the moment. Yeah, th this part is a work in progress, but the thing is, my Lego, just my collection in general, will always be a work in progress. So, yeah. And here I got a whole cabinet dedicated to Bionicle. So, I've got this Nuju Hordika, this little figurine that I just wanted for some reason. And here's Toa Metru no Kama. Vaki Vorzak. Then this is 2001 and 2002, pretty much. That's the theme here. I have all six of the original Toa Mata. I'm happy about that. Like, I got a ways to go if I want to complete my Bionicle collection, but I'm happy that I can, can at least say I have all six of the original Toa Mata. And I had them all put in order of, like, which place you go to in the Madden Nui online game. Like you go to Gokoro first, then Takoro, that sort of thing. Then I have Gali Nuva and Kopaka Nuva. I'll get the other Toa Nuva someday. And I just, I like the Toa Mata better. Then I got Jala and Huki. And then Nuparu with his Boxer. Definitely need to get more Matoran and the Taraga. And down here, this is 2002 and 2003. I got Turak... Some Borak, Galak, Korak, and Layback. Then here's Takanuva, Doll with the Gecko Bird. And down here, all by himself, the best Bionicle character ever, if you ask me, have Toamari Matoro. Let's see. I'll do this one. 
So here I got my C-bound sets, some more C-bound sets. Here I got the island sets. I had some fun with this one. I got Kai hanging from the trap and that sort of thing. Then here's crystallized vehicles. I've still got a fair bit of sets to go and I'm still not sure if I'm gonna complete all of them because I just was not really the biggest fan of crystallized, even if the sets are pretty fun. And here's more crystallized sets. Got Harumi and the Overlord and Esphira. Got the ninja going for their golden weapons. Boy breaking out of the cage. And here's the Crystal King along with some Vengestone Warriors. Then down here, I've got what's going to become my Dragon's Rising display as much as I can fit on here. Got an Earth Dragon and the Wolf Hunter, Jay, Lloyd, Imperium, Cole, and the Bone Guy. And over here is mostly Lego Star Wars. First, I got this Mandalorian poster or picture. I'm just blanking what you call that right now. So up here, I got the Mandalorian's N1 Starfighter. And then that's technically R5-D8, but the minifigure is exactly the same as the R5-D4 they released later. And since he showed up in Mandalorian Season 3, I decided to add him to the display. And down here, Pelimoto, BD-1. I got Grief Karga, Cara Dune. There's a Tusken Raider and Luke with some Shadow Troopers. There's Boba Fett. Some pirate guys. And over here we have the Razor Crest, the one from 2020. I didn't get the UCS version. I wasn't really interested. It looked like an amazing set, but the main thing I'm just really bummed I couldn't get from it was Queel. I really want Queel, but I just I just didn't need that set. And now Queel's pretty expensive on Bricklink. I wish I jumped on him while he was still $40. Oh <sighs> well, live and learn. Right now, this cabinet is pretty much going to be dedicated to the Clone Wars. So I got some 501st Troopers. I need to get a Rex. I've been a fan of Rex for a long time, but I've never gotten a minifigure of him. And now he's getting one in the Venator. I understand why they put minifigures like him in big sets, but it doesn't matter. It's still a little annoying. I'll, I'll get him somehow, though. If he goes up on Bricklink and he's $40, I won't make the same mistake I made with Queel, unless I'm just, like, not doing well financially at that point. Here we got Anakin, R2-D2, C-3PO, Ahsoka, and a 332nd Trooper. I am really excited about getting more of these guys. That'll be cool. And there we got Bo-Katan, a Mandalorian Loyalist, on Bo-Katan's ship. Then this cannon is also a bit of a work in progress, but I'll show some of it. So here's the ATTE, and then we finally have a Phase 2 Commander Cody. I know he has the issue with his helmet, but I just, I really like this minifigure. I'm just so happy they finally made him. And there's Obi-Wan's Jedi Starfighter. Then there's the Armored Assault Tank with Mace Windu. There's some battle droids. This pirate ship that's in disarray. The spider droid. Got Darth Maul and Gar Saxon. The droid ship yeah again this is a bit of a work in progress so i won't show you all of it all right then over here we had the lighthouse siege and here we have the ninjago movie max the water strider the lightning jet along with the arcades arcade cabinets and here we have the fire mac and the quake mac lloyd's Green Ninja Mech Dragon, the Destiny Shadow. Here we have the Rock Rotor, some mechs from Possession. And here we have the Ice Tank, Garmadon, and the Lady Iron Dragon. If I remember correctly, that's what they called her in the movie. And then we got Wu. Then there's Zane's Ninja Copter, along with Lloyd's Golden Dragon, and the Overlord. Now, over here, I'll just go ahead and cover what's in here. It hasn't really changed, but it's just some Lego stuff in here. Actually, it's probably mostly Lego, now that I think about it. Chima, other random stuff. 
extra transformers, more Lego sets, some Mega Constructs. Here's my Skylanders Mega Box collection. Here's some extra Ninjago sets. Not really extra, just ones I don't have on display. Here's my Mixels collection, which is just in horrible shape still. My Halo Mega Constructs collection. And here's Creo. Then there's some Ninjago and a Chima set. And I think that pretty much does it for my Ninjago collect, not Ninjago, my Lego collection. All right, then I guess I should mention my Lego catalogs and magazines. <sighs> I still miss getting Lego catalogs. It's a shame they did away with that. All right, now we can get on to my Sonic collection. So here we have my modern four inch shelf. Up here I got Super Sonic and Super Silver. I still need to get Super Shadow somehow and the Dark Blue Chaos Emeralds. I'll, I'll get that one some, get both of those somehow. And there's Team Dark and Team Sonic with the Master Emerald. There's Silver. I'm so excited for that new Blaze figure that just got revealed. She's, she's gonna be going right here. I, I cannot wait to get her. That's gonna be awesome. I'm hearing this is kind of the bad guy shelf, sort of. Got Eggman and Metal Sonic and Infinite with the Phantom Ruby. We got Chaos. Then some Chow. They're not bad guys. And then if, hopefully, if they do Gamma, he'll probably go here too. And he's not a bad guy. So, still, so it's kind of my theme I went for here. Then the movie figures. I did get Super Sonic. You probably know that actually if you've seen my Christmas haul from last year. Yeah, I do have him. Then there's Team Chaotix. I still can't believe I found Charmy. That was awesome. Then here's Team Rose, and I just can't believe I was able to find Cream. And so easily, like, without any issue. Then there's the Clay Froggy I made, along with the Fishing Rod for Big. And here's this Chow that I'm planning on putting a bow tie on to turn him into cheese. So really not a whole lot more I need for this shelf. I think Super Shadow, the Chaos Emerald, Blaze, and then if they do them, Gamma, and I do need to find Jet the Hawk, then hopefully they'll do the Babylon Rogues. Yeah, I'm happy with how this one's coming along. Then we come over to my classic display. Here I got the Eggmobile with a classic 2.5 inch Robotnik in it, and here's this Catapult thing with a little classic Sonic in it. And here we have 2.5 inch classic characters. Have pretty much have pretty much all the main characters. The only one I'm missing, I want to get a more standard looking classic Sonic, which I do actually have on my desk. But it's one of the earlier versions where the muzzle looks kind of unfinished. So I'm planning on getting that animal capsule set that has that one in it, because he'll probably have a more finished muzzle. But until then, we just got angry classic Sonic, which I'm happy with that. And then there's classic Tails, Knuckles, and Amy. Classic Supersonic. There's Mighty and Ray. And there's classic Metal Sonic, the Moto Bug, Neutron, Buzz Bomber, Chopper. We have Crab Meat and Burrowbot, Rhinobot, and the Egg Robo. And then, unfortunately, breaking up the classic theme, I got my Boom figures. I just wasn't sure where else to put them. I'm not really too into the Boom games, but I really like the show. I've enjoyed rewatching it on Netflix. So, I have most of the main characters. I'm just missing Amy, Styx, and Metal Sonic. I don't know if I'll ever get those, but yeah, I have pretty much all the other main characters. We got Tails, Sonic, Knuckles, Shadow, Burnbot, Cubot, Orbot, and Eggman with his Eggmobile. Come here we have the Death Egg Robot. Then we have the Tornado from Sonic Movie 2. I mainly got it just so I could put the classic characters in it. But I had the movie characters in there right now. Then there's this Sonic picture here. So what I'm planning to do when the Prime figures come out, I start getting my hands on those. I'm planning on getting another one of these white cube shelves. shelves. I'm going to put it there. 
and I'm going to put the Sonic Prime characters on it. Probably the movie characters on it. Like, I'll just turn it into a movie slash show shelf. This is probably where I'll put variants. Thinking about customizing some writers' variants of the Sonic characters and maybe a Werehog commissioning a customer or something like that. And I'll just, like I said, I'll just put those there in the movie figures. They'll go on that shelf along with the Boom figures. So yeah, I just started collecting these last year and, well, not to brag, but I've come quite a long way. So that's pretty much the Sonic collection. And now for last, but definitely not least, my Transformers collection. So first off, we have the Prime collection. I'm planning on replacing Skyquake and Dreadwing with the legacy figures. Like, I've heard that mold has problems, but to me, it just still looks better than those two. I'll just, I'll still keep these. I'll stick them down in a bin, but yeah, the planning on replacing with the legacy evolution versions. And there's some little dark energon crystals. We've got the APC Toys Arachnid and see the legacy knockout. Who's acting as a placeholder till hopefully APC Toys does him. Then my Autobots have pretty much all the characters. Just a couple different versions of them that I'm missing. I got Miko and Raph and Jack. And there's the APC Toys Cliff Jumper. And I finally ended up sticking the Prime Robots in Disguise RC on this shelf. I still have the first edition on display. We'll get to that later, but... At the end of the day, this one just does just look a little bit more like the character and it's better size, so yeah. And the APC Toys Cliff Jumper, who's still standing, which is nice. He's, he hasn't toppled over because he's so weak in the knees for some reason. My Cliff Jumper collection is complete. Hopefully, I won't want any more because I feel I already have too many. But at least with this one, I'm pretending it's Tailgate, so I feel it works to have him. In Beast Wars Season 2 slash 3 shelf, there's the Transmetal 2 Dragon Megatron from Legacy. Love that figure. And then my Season 1 shelf. It is complete, aside from a few accessories and modifications I might want to make to the figures. This is complete. I have all the Predacons and all the Maximals. I'm very happy about that. Since the last collection update, I added Tarantulas and Inferno. Yeah, I'm just, I'm very happy about that. And then, forget if I mentioned this previously, but Megatron is holding the golden disc. I do need to get a second golden disc. Once again, maybe a better version of Cheetor. Some better weapons. But yeah, I have all the characters and it's just so satisfying. Come up here, there's my Dinobots. I really need to get Snarl. I am so excited to be getting him and then hopefully they'll do Swoop soon. Having all five Dinobots, that'll be awesome. And here's my 86 movie shelf. There's the RC and Wheelie. I have most of the characters from for this shelf. I still need to get the Quintesson and an Alicon. And then maybe a better version of Daniel, which I know comes in the upgrade kit with Slag. But otherwise, I got a good chunk of the characters. Then this is my 80... It's based on the 84 toy lineup, as well as kind of the characters we saw in the first couple episodes of the first season of G1. They finally made Holler, and since he did show up in those... First ep some of those first episodes. I, I just, I wanted to get him and add him to this shelf. I'm very happy, aside from his weird face. And Blue Streak's gun, the one on the left, unfortunately broke again. I'll get it glued back on. And then there's the 86 Ironhide, who I have yet to review, because I just find that transformation really annoying. And I'm not planning to review him until I feel I have it down well enough that I can do it on camera without too much of an issue. Chromie and Alita 1 kind of break away from the Season 1 theme I have going. Just because I couldn't separate him from Optimus and Ironhide. Oh, and Wheeljack, I gave him one of the guns from the Red Cog set. 
The same for Sunstreaker. Because they, they needed more weaponry. And this is my 85 through 87 lineup. So I've got Scrap Hook. There's Goldbug along with another gun from the Red Cog set. And then there's Tailgate and Cosmos. I definitely have a lot of the characters from the 85 lineup. There's still some mini bots I need, but that, I'm, I'm happy with how this is coming along. Come down here, we have the Decepticon shelf. And really the only thing that's changed here, I got the 86 Rumble. And that's about it. I'm happy with how this shelf looks though. I do need to get the other Insecticons. And here's my animated Decepticons. You got Waspinator and Thundercracker, Sunstorm and Skywarp. Really for this, out of the original animated toy line, I, I just need Blackout and Electrostatic Soundwave, and I'm pretty sure that's it. Of course, Blackout probably won't be happening for a little while yet. And here's the animated Autobots. The only one I added here was the Activator's Cliff Jumper. Once again, I have pretty much everyone. I'm, I'm just missing different versions of the characters. The I need to get Samurai Prowl and Wingblade Optimus. And the thing is, the Legacy Prowl, there's an upgrade kit for it where you can turn him into the Samurai Prowl. So I'm almost tempted to get that because the original Samurai Prowl is just too expensive for me to get right now. And who knows what else they'll do with Legacy for animated. I'm all for it, though. I love animated. It's nice that it's finally getting the recognition it's deserved for so long. All right, now I finally got a whole cabinet dedicated to the movies. So here's my rebooted movie shelf. I've added the Rise of the Beast Bumblebee to it. The one that finally came to rival the Jeep Bumblebee. I thought nothing would ever rival that one, but here's this one, and I absolutely love it. I'm still not 100% sure which one I like better between the two, but he's definitely a strong contender. And there's Rise of the Beast, Core Class RC. I hope we get a deluxe soon. And there's Air Razor and Cheetor. We got Thundercracker, Freezer, Battle Trap, and Scourge. At least there aren't a ton of Rise of the Beast characters I need. I have pretty much everyone from the Bumblebee movie. I think we heard heard something about them possibly doing a Voyager Shockwave finally for the Bumblebee movie. But I have pretty much everyone else who showed up in that opening Cybertron scene. I'm really happy about that. Right now we'll get on to, I showed this already in a short, but got some lights for my Studio Series figures. Let's see, I've got Dark of the Moon Ratchet, Dark of the Moon Bumblebee, and Ironhide. I still can't believe I was able to get Ironhide. I'm so happy about that. Then the Wreckers with the upgrade kit. See, Hound has, not Hound, Leadfoot has Steel Jaw on a leash. Then there's Hot Rod. And there's where I put the first edition RC. I just couldn't put her in a bin because I still love the figure. So I just stuck her in with my movie shelf. Then there's Braun. I decided to add him to this display. I really wanted to get the Buzzworthy Bumblebee re release for the Dark of the Moon Optimus, but. Well, he disappeared before I was able to get him. I'm very bummed about that. Then here's... Back there we got The Fallen. Then Revenge of the Fallen Starscream. And I actually did not do an unboxing video for this, but I have Blackout now. I'm very happy about that. He's my favorite movie Decepticon, so having him is really cool. And there's Scorponok and Barricade. Then there's Brawl and Sideways. Bone Crusher, Terror Dive, and Bludgeon. And down here, I can finally display my Constructicons. I have all of them, except for Skipjack. And I still don't know if I'll ever combine them into Devastator because I'm still too traumatized after the Rampage incident. Yeah, otherwise, I, I have all of them. I'm happy about that. Coming down here, this is my extra generation shelf. There's the Wreckers. Still need Top Spin and Broadside. I'm surprised that they haven't done Top Spin with this color scheme yet. I'm surprised they haven't done that yet. Otherwise, I got a fair bit of the Wreckers. 
come to this side. This bottom shelf, for some reason, there's no glass on it. I don't know why, but there just isn't. Then we have the 2001 Robots in Disguise Scourge from the Legacy Velocitron line. Then we have Geaxis. There's Override and Red Cog and Minerva. And that is pretty much it for Transformers and just my collection in general. This has been one of the biggest collection updates in a while. Hope you've enjoyed looking at it. I know it's been a bit of a wait. I hope the wait has been worth it. There will be collection updates in the future. But I needed to do something. It's been a little while since I hit 500 subscribers, which... Again, I can't thank you guys enough. And I'm already almost at 600. I just can't believe that. So thanks a lot, everyone. I'll, I know I'm not putting out videos as regularly as I did at one point, but I'm still here. Still planning to do more reviews. So I hope you stick around for that. And yeah, I think that about does it. So let's see, we'll just, we'll close out with the Transformers display. So, if you like this video, please be sure to like, comment, share, subscribe, and God bless.